Before the accident, I was in phenomenally good shape. I was really cycling a lot, and I was taking spinning classes. I was very confident in myself. I wanted to look at doing a serious ride. So that's what I do. I sign up to ride from Santa Barbara to Charleston. And then when I was riding across Oklahoma, and I had an accident where I fell off the bike, landed on my head, and cracked the helmet. I was in a coma for nine days, and then took this part of my skull out, so effectively create space so the brain could swell. I was coming out of a coma, and I was flown back to California and checked into Stanford Hospital. My neurosurgeon at that point in time was Odette Harris. Brett was transferred into our institution because we're a level one trauma center. Any patient who suffered a traumatic brain injury who comes into the Stanford system will have some interaction with myself or my colleague in trauma. His ICU care then is focused on minimizing the cascade that could ultimately lead to more cell damage. The first procedure we did here was his cranioplasty and ultimately needed two major surgical teams. My big challenge was I hit the right side of my head. I had left side body issues. I had some left hand issues, so I couldn't do this. I did have short-term memory issues. I had some balance issues too. I needed to get myself back as close to the way I was before. We struck up this relationship of his letting me know what he valued in terms of his recovery and my inputting in terms of motivation and support. I'm here to see chairs on the spinal touch this index finger to the tip of your nose. I met Brett during his recovery phase. He came to me because he had some seizures, epileptic seizures. So I was his outpatient neurologist managing his seizure disorder. Sherazad Lee was really remarkable in how do I deal with my seizures and how do I deal with the aspects of reconnecting my head with my hand and so forth. You're integrating not only brain injury specialists, but you're integrating trauma specialists, specialists in orthopedics, specialists in ENT, plastic surgery. Multiple perspectives weigh in. The doctors are fantastic. The communication is very good. And the feedback is really consistent. He would email me updates on him. I slept this many hours today. I did this much walking and just encouraging his holistic approach to recovery. I basically tracked myself by things I did, I was doing now to what I did before. It's been a huge part of his recovery to share his story with other people. He often volunteers to educate our medical students about neurologic recovery. His story is so inspiring and gives so much hope to me as a doctor and to other patients. At Stanford, the whole team was great at making sure the right things happened for me to have this amazingly good recovery I've had so far. The Stanford environment really allows someone like Brett to truly recover in a way that's tailored to what he needs. Because of the integrated care that we give, Brett's just excelled. It's that constant interplay between clinicians to really tap into what's gonna motivate him and what's gonna allow him to succeed. And I think that is unique to Stanford. They're always thinking of the little things that I should ponder and look at doing and how do I work through those in a positive way. All the things they would do to make sure things were right for my family was really good. I've been very open to talk to people about it and that helped me in my recovery too. I don't have any reoccurring issues. My short-term memory came back. I leaned in to embrace that I had these injuries and I continue to get better.